anyway, number two. Let's see, what was I saying? Um, there's just so much that happened yesterday that I can't really dictate. So there is a list of things that the women, which I'm gonna have to write down because a lot of the, um, a lot of the energies, like even y'all has one, one row, you know, I have to do a lot more research, but normally they'll just pop in and be like, oh, yo, um, I heard through the birds that this girl da, 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 was sleeping with this person, which if you mix their DNA together, it's going to create um, a disease, right? So this is why some women, you know, they aren't supposed to be... Uh, in a relationship with certain people because of the simple fact that if you alchemize the males um if you alchemize the male's sperm with her dna then ultimately you're going to create fucking coronavirus ultimately you're going to create fucking uh sars or uh, bird flu type shit it's the it's the fluids that mixed together to create this stuff. Hey trees, how's your morning going? All right then, all right then. So we then get to the, the point where uh, we have to figure out uh, if you're worthy of becoming a loved one. God shows me the reflections. If you're worthy of becoming, you know what I mean? You got to get checked in. and You know, there's spiritual doctors and snake doctors and all this kind of stuff to get you out of this energy. So, um, oh, and I also have to talk about mental health disorders. Mental health disorder. So this is my my little crossroad. So mental health disorders. I'm all over it today because there was such a big download yesterday. Because everybody is getting on the same page quickly. So um, what was I gonna say? The the reason why it's very hard. To initiate is because you have to go to complete insanity in order to reach certain powers uh, to be able to crown right and if you don't have a group of women to pull you out of the insanity of what's about to happen then you're going to be stuck in the tip of ether which is how bitches become mentally unstable because they try to obtain a yummy power without having agua pele, good character, right? So then you got bitches that will go on these big old rants and raves. <laughs> Shoot. Rants and raves about shit that they don't know. And then they got to get in trouble. So like even me for for a long time, I got in trouble. And the thing is a masculine can't check me. A masculine cannot check me because I get in a space where you know, then I can't be attracted to you because because if you if you if you are, you know, the one who's going to check me is what I mean like you know say bitch sit down like if you talk to me like that it's like it's on like we starting a war you know what i mean one two three hey Amatala. hi thank you i'm getting presents this morning it's like christmas christmas morning um so then if they check me i'm like i get 
it's very sensitive arena when you're messing with this energy because if you get checked in the energy you can fry the man's uh mainframe which makes him have to start all over again which means you have to be very careful what you say around the time that ayami is crowning like literally when you're cr hey crow hi literally when you're crowning it's like you're giving birth to this 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 potent energy and though because we are too close to the uh, a certain time we can't give birth unless we have a certain um seven around like you have to have the seven around when you're birthing a new earth because they are the fathers right so technically creator is the father but they are the physical representation together of the father coming to earth again and uh being there to assist the mother because she gets really like especially when you're dealing with you gotta birth the black you gotta birth the black you gotta birth the white and then you could birth the earth so this is why the three the three heads is what i call it three heads is uh pretty crucial um so then if you get into the here we'll go store so then if you get into the So then, if you get into the um, the organization of, okay, now we have now we have Shango who's who's done the, the final thing, and now the mother is about to give birth. We have oh man, this is so much going on. Uh, mental health disorders. Let's go back to that point. So, when a male check checks Iyami in the orders, like, you're not a part of the checks and balances at this moment. It has to be a council of women and men together to formulate this uh, energy to be able to check the mother. Because she's in, when she's in such extreme power and you check her by yourself, most likely disintegration right so then if you get to the point where they call the council meeting and everybody is in one accord on one accord to officially be like okay we're gonna check the check and balance good morning check and balance the mother uh because she's getting too strung out and power she's getting too strung out on power and this is this has been for millions of years this has been the the way of ether right the way of ether is very very strong so when you're in your shadow ego energy if you if you don't have a cumulative power of ego then you cannot check you cannot check the sky you know what i mean like you can't check the sky because you aren't a part of you know you aren't a part of the blackness of the sky you're not a part of ether right you're too big girl Woo. So this is why when um, men and women get together, they gotta they gotta have a link together from a, 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 a vast standpoint in order to pull the mother back from. Like even yesterday was a big old test from the universe to see how far can we go to piss off the feminine to accumulate that power 
So this is why it's very important to, you know, not be on the medical uh, grade stuff. And I'm about to hook up with my girl, Laura. And she about to teach me how to use the herbs and stuff like that. You know, cause I'm researching Dr. Sebi and whatnot. But I'm like, I also need an accountability partner, right? To keep me accountable for my things. And uh, so if I get to, to a certain amount of power, if you get to a certain amount of power, right? Um, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot. Uh, you have to link together to create, form a uh, rule to weigh the power of Iyami down, of Ajay energy down. Because if you don't, that is the ultimate destruction of quite a bit of uh, energy. Hello. Um, so it has to have the checks and balances. This is why in what was stolen from ancient Egypt, how the president has to have checks and balances within the Senate, the House, the House of Representatives or whatever. So they have to all, you know, sign petitions and da -da -da. it's all copied from this power once it really originally uh, uh, was grounded, right? Okay. So then we get to the point where uh, you have to start addressing, you have to start addressing mental health disorders, right? You gotta start addressing the mental health disorders within your community within yourself like for me i already know my ass is bipolar bipolar you want to see what that means bipolar bi meaning two right bi meaning two polar meaning polar opposite so i have more than two personalities who are total opposites we have yamaya and then you have um, Oya, you have Oshun. But then you also have Sekhmet, who also has to come back into this prowess. In this, um, uh, so when you combine all of these energies, it's, you're, you're basically alchemically creating personalities, right? So then you have to have this, this star of deities you have this star of energies right so if you have a star of energies and different goddesses are associated with each point of the stars you're gonna have south north east west you're gonna have all of those personalities and sometimes you're gonna have the opposite so whoever's in north and south at that time cannot be combined because south and north they're in their moon energy right so if, if they're in their moon energy that means that they can control the tides but if one person is saying hey i want to send a wave and the other one's saying no don't send a wave you you can't you you have to have them on all accord all of the goddesses has, has to be on all accord so when all the goddesses got on all, uh, one accord yesterday and created the balance of deities you then ultimately have um, supreme access. So this is then. Is it really the mother crowning the, the daughters or is it the daughters crowning the mother? So this is why you have to lay all your cards out on the table. So for me yesterday, so I have my Prophetess Razan personality account and then I have my Z girl. So my Z girl is where I have a lot of my, you know, friends and families because they're the the energies that I accumulated for myself to feel better about. Because you only surround yourself with people that's going to make you feel better, you know, most of the time. And you know, praise you and stuff like that. But me, I'm like, nope. You know, I want all my haters to see everything. I want all everybody to see everything because I'm not hiding anymore. So I open my page from public, from private to public, right? Um, and then you have the prophetess account on Instagram, which mainly the deities post from. 
So I will eventually come in there and be like, yo, it's, it's Z. It's Z because I have all the, the, all of the angels, all of the goddesses in one, in one personality. And I call it the Z. That's why I call it the Z portal because it begins and ends. It begins with, with A. It begins with the sun and it ends with the moon. It ends with Z. So this is why I created my own persona to be the Z, Z girl, G-U-R-L. If you think about it, Z, G, and then the U-R-L is like where you link to. What's your link? So if you, if you internally click the URL code in my link, you could go to exactly where I'm from. I will take you, if you figured that out yet, I will take you exactly to where I'm from, from the star constellations, and allow you to, to check in my, gen, my genealogy. So this is where it gets into the point where we're talking real motherfucking power right so everything is all linked together so then we go to um then we go to the multiple personality type phase that when all of the women are on one accord then you ultimately create the um so I'm only getting these words because I think I've said all of these before and the past and the future are all uh, correlated. So I'm gonna tell you again, like for the masculine perspective, like I really have uh, ultimate respect for, you know, a lot of these masculines like Kepri, the Aganyu energy, Ogun, Obatala energy, we're talking the Osiris energy. We're talking the Legua energy. We're talking Ochosi energy. We're talking, we go way, 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 way back. The Tutankhamen, we, I mean, you, you got so many masculine energies who have mastered a certain alchemical personality to where no matter what they do, they reincarnate and they come back to the same shit reincarnate to the same shit because they have studied so much in the past about the future about the you know they figured out the codes to where they're reincarnating into back into their personality which is quite hard to do i'm not gonna lie it's very 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 difficult to do because you have to study the the earthly form of alchemy all the way up to the physical form or the uh the uh, etherical form of alchemy, which is quite dangerous, you know? You could lose yourself in the music, the moment you want it, you better never let it go. You only get one stop. Do not miss the chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better. This world is mine for the taking. Make me king as we move toward the world order. The normal life is born. Superstar. What's up, M? What's up, M? What's up, M? I follow E40 today too, cause I was like, E40 taught me a lot of stuff in his in his stuff because he took what Mad Dre did. He took what Mad Dre did, and he uh he quickened it. Anyway, um and. Uh, what was I saying? So they reincarnate alchemically to the same personality. So now, from for the, a lot of the energies that are inside of me, what causes me to have such high blood pressure? It's not it's what I eat, but is it's not allowing certain voices, not allowing certain energies to have a say in. What, what ultimately goes on within the, our physical realm. So like certain energies that are like so obscure that nobody knows about. There's this old ancient world goddess from uh, Scotland that nobody even uh, refers to. Her name is Sarah. 
her name is Zara, but she's from um, she's from Scot the Scottish way, right, right? And Zara has um, access to a lot of the uh, how do I say like follow hair hair follicles hair follicles I think you can you can say hair follicles and what plays a large role in that is when she gets jealous you know because no one is allowing her to speak she has little hissy fits and these hissy fits can turn into balding you can bald women <laughs> bald men but people think because you know the deity of, of balding Hi, hey, I like your dress. Oh, thank you. He must be Rasta. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, with this, when that deity has um, a certain amount of, uh, of, like, not being notable, she then turns into an angry uh, person and makes your hair fall out. And you have to have certain vitamins to and minerals to help counter balance Sarah. Because Sarah is very powerful when it comes to the hair follicle. Because anything that's associated with the hair on your body, the hair on your, you know, the hair on your face and stuff like that. Sarah can, uh, you know, so if you are like a very feminine, masculine personality, right? Um, and you, you know. You can spiritually grow a beard. Sada can cut that shit. Even from a masculine perspective. Um, she can cut cut it out and you won't have access to the masculine power because it comes from the uh the the follicles of the hair. Right? Move your hands, mommy. You're gonna get them caught in there. Okay, thank you. So we then go and look at, uh, you know, uh, uh, when they say multiple, multiple deities, we talk about multiple deities. I'm talking from the oldest world to the newest world. So it would, it would ultimately be in the favor of, you know, you to get to know yourself. This is why being alone is so important because then certain deities inside of you i'm gonna get you food now you want some oatmeal oatmeal blueberry oatmeal i'll make put some blueberries in Hachu. here i'll make you some oatmeal okay and bananas and blueberries strawberries uh oh careful and i'll put you in this box and push you Okay, you can we can draw uh tires on it and make it like like a, a mobile. Yeah. Okay. So then you being alone is very fucking important to you uh expanding your knowledge, right? Expanding your your uh idea of self. So um, if you saying that you are this powerful person, like me claiming and saying, yo, I'm a reincarnate of the goddess Isis. People always want me to prove that I am her by performing miracles and power trips and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to fucking beat y'all ass. <laughs> like, I don't say that. The ladies get together and they're like, they like they having a town hall meeting of them right they're like, they're like how many times do we have to prove who we are da, 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 da. did you hear what this person said about me and and did you hear this and they be going awesome motherfuckers so this is why the when they get together and they they could play to the creator and the creator is like, the creator is like, all the women are on one accord, right? And then all the women are like, yeah, we're on one accord. We're on one accord. So once they're on one accord, that means that it's time to send lightning. So when, when the creator sends lightning, 
uh, when he sends a lightning rod to strike down the people who was ask. I mean, it's it's crazy because you're like, I'm just asking a question, but it's like bitches already think that they're this energy, like that they can have this much energy inside of them. So so once they feel like that's them, and then that like diminish. When you say that I'm Isis, right, or I'm the goddess uh uh isis when i say that if somebody else says that they are it diminishes the person's power for a second and makes their their energy levels go boo because they're like oh shit it's like then people are losing faith in the real fucking santa claus <laughs> they're losing faith of faith in the real and going towards the fake because the fake got glitz and glamour and uh you know uh braids and fucking this and that and this right so since they uh, they have that that <laughs> that power has been driven from them for a little bit they get mad because they're like okay so if a bitch want to <laughs> pretend to be who i am and i'm losing my money and my motherfucking you know that 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 over some somebody who's claiming to be this i'm gonna have to show who i am so they then go to to the creator go to Abatala and say hey i need you to send send lightning strikes to anybody who who says that they are this person so if you see like flashes of lights in your house if you see flashes of lights in your house like i saw hella flashes of lights right because it, it be coming full circle because I have to say that I am Isis, and if I say, that means that I have to uh, experience the lightning bolts as well, because I'm a part of the personality. I am not the personality, right? I'm a part of the personality. I'm a piece in the puzzle piece of her personality. So I don't control the body. I control the, um, what I call the cross. I control the cross, which means the energy here throughout the heart the balancing of the other side of the heart the voice box the uh third eye um and i don't control the head that's a lot to less but i control basically the cross so it's like the cross is what i control and the goddess um Sekhmeth will control this, or this will control this, or this will control this. So when people are saying like that they are it, like like I also hear this too, that like not one person is is a set. Not one person is a set. It's an accumulation of feminines who are a set. And to that I say, I'm glad you have uh your your version of things, but this shit was written a long time ago that one feminine had the power of this genetic code and her story is aligned in a, in, in a certain way. So if you go to the map or if I, if I like look at somebody uh, from Nigeria or if I go onto a page, I, I follow this guy, uh, Obatala, Efunle, well, something like that. I follow him. So he posts things sometimes and I go on the page or I try to refer or defer from from going to the page sometimes because it's like I don't want the I don't want my energy to be you know like offensive to somebody because once I'm not in my form of, of Oshun like they they really don't didn't mess with me like that you know what I mean like they really messed up when it when they were like oh the you know, yeah, I mean, are evil witches and stuff like that a long time ago because that perpetuated a, a nasty image from certain perspectives, right? So I will go on the page and then um, what I see is different because what I see is I see, mo I see moving pictures. Like pictures are not just pictures. They're moving images. Like they're videos. So if somebody posts a video... It is like, I go there and I'm like, hey, um, I am, you know, I'm physically here because I've been here before. You can, for, from your 
spiritual body, you can only go where you've been before in the circle of time. You can only go where you've been before, right? So I've been across this globe a couple times and many, uh, many, 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 many other moons and, and spaces and time. You know, I can't wait to tell people about this, the stuff that goes on in the, the ether. So I um, will go to this energy or this person and I will say, hey, I would like to um, to initiate um, this this energy in you know 2022 when things settle down and we come back into i would say i want to um, initiate this energy because this energy has access to how to turn on the pyramids and if i can't get this personality back from my bell you know what i mean if i can't get this personality back from this shit then guess what happens we lose access to the pyramids. We lose access to um, the architects, you know, the, the original ar architects of some of this main, um, a lot of this stuff was women, was personalities of women. All right, I'm at 10%. I'm talking a lot, guys. Um, I'm making some tea, some rose hibiscus. Some oatmeal for the baby. Um, so I'm at 10%. So I'm going to just uh, wrap everything up uh, ultimately and just basically say that there's a lot of personalities within your DNA structure that have to start being let out. But the only way to let it out is through originally getting the Orisha freed. From their captivity because they had a dom domicile over them because they are very powerful and that domicile was uh, uh, unconnected. And then my uh, crystal up there is going off right now. There's money. just That's my bank right there. It's checking in. Um, I just need to figure out how to turn that into physical form money now because I really need to start planning this event. So... Um, no stop it so then we're gonna get to um the orisha have to be free in order for us to get to um in order for us to get angel she's tired she didn't sleep good last night go easy on her go easy on her y'all um so then when we get to the like um when we get to after we uh open the domicile for them we got to go back to ethiopia because they place them under a domicile too to contain their power and their influence so then once that is lifted from the nigerian area then or the um the you're above people we then go to the ethiopians and we start uh, opening up their domicile and then that's how we start unlocking doors to the prison systems that's how we we spiritually spiritually unite and then after we spiritually unite, we physically unite, we march together, and we take back the land. So, I have so much more to tell y'all that I hope, um, I hope that I can get back on later. Because I was actually very excited about this today because I had such a large download from uh, connecting with people that it gave me so much energy like we i take for granted how much connectivity plays a part in personality because my personalities thrive on giving to their children right so if my personality's got to be stuck in the house and they can't give to the children they be getting mad 
so much easier and when they get mad so much easier there's so much more destruction because if you are good to the mothers they are good to you if you is fucked up to the mothers they gonna make you feel fear and the fear is it drops to the bottom of your stomach that means that they're turning off your solar plexus that means you can't access your uh kundalini that means you can't access nothing no more because you have made them angry so um i just wanted to tell you how your personality is connected to um your traits and who you are um and how your dna is your personality uh on play your dna is your personality on play okay father is pulling the air have a good day guys